Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I am going to show you how to crochet this cute amigurumi mushroom. If you prefer to follow a written pattern you'll find the free version linked down below. To make this mushroom you need to have cotton yarn. I'm using a recycled cotton yarn karma from Creme Queso Wool, a crochet hook, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter clover hook, a pair of scissors, Fiskers is always my favorite, a darning needle and some stuffing. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle, single crochets, increases and decreases. If you don't know how to do these stitches, go to my channel, look them up and come back to this video later. Okay, let's start crocheting. We are going to start off with making the hat of our mushroom. So take your red color or if you prefer to make a pink or a green mushroom, take whatever color of yarn that you like. And let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets. And I'm making two chains and in the second chain from the hook I'm making six single crochets. But you can use whatever magic circle method that you prefer. One, two, three, four, five, and a last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the second row, we are going to crochet two single crochets in each stitch, aka, we are going to increase six times until we have 12 stitches. And on the third row we are going to crochet one single crochet and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. And on our fourth row, we are going to crochet. <laughs> Let me just, this is so satisfying to pulling tight the magic circle. Uh, okay, uh, on the fourth row, we are going to crochet two single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches. On the one, two, three, four, fifth row, we are going to crochet three single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 30 stitches. Thank you. 
and on the sixth row we are going to crochet four single crochets and one increase until we have 36 stitches. Okay, so on the next two rows, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch, which means we are going to crochet 36 stitches on each row, so for two rows. Okay, so that is our hat for our mushroom. Now we just need to cut off the yarn and wave in the yarn ends. And if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm ending this row with a invisible uh, stitch just because it looks so much prettier. Look at this. And now you can't even almost tell where it ends and where the round starts. The next part we're going to make is the foot of our mushroom and I'm using a white color for this part. Let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets. Wow, 
two, three, four, five, six. And then we are going to make six increases. So one increase in each stitch all the way around until we have 12 stitches. And on the third row we are going to make one single crochet and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. And on the next two rows, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch. So in total on each row, there will be 18 stitches. And this was then row number four and five. my fifth round on the next round we are going to crochet seven single crochets and a decrease and we are going to repeat that twice until we have 16 stitches so one two three four, five, six, seven, and then a decrease. And once again. Too far, so now a decrease. And on the next two rows, we are going to make 16 single crochets, so one single crochet in each stitch for two rows. So now we have arrived at round number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we are going to make a decrease a row again. So we are making six single crochets and one decrease and repeat that two times until you have 14 stitches. So one, two, three, 
three, four, five, and six, and a decrease. And repeat that one more time. Oops. I went one stitch too far if you was wondering what the what I was doing. Uh, so I had to rug one stitch. And we are going to continue with two more rows with 14 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch for two more rows. <laughs> Ah, that was our round. So now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rounds and fourteen stitches. On the next round, we are going to crochet six single crochets and a increase and repeat that two times until we have are back to 16 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and a increase. And repeat that one more time because we want 16 stitches because that is dividable with eight. Okay, now we have 16 stitches and on the next round we are going to crochet one single crochet and one increase and repeat that eight times and by the end of the round you should have 24 stitches Now you can see that we are actually crocheting the bottom section of the hat. Uh, this way you don't have to sew the foot part to the hat part. Uh, we, or you need to but you don't have this part to sew and then the edge. You only have the edge to sew and we like things that doesn't require a lot of sewing, don't we? <laughs> Okay, so on the next uh, round we are going to crochet one, two single crochets and then a increase and repeat that eight times and by the time you have 
gone around, you should have 32 stitches. So one, two, and eight increase, and seven more times. Now that was everything we are going to do with white yarn or not really we're going to embroider some dots on the hat part but for now cut up the yarn and let's don't pull anything because we are going to actually change color to red and our last row on the um, foot is going to be red so I'm I'm, I'm almost frogging the previous stitch, taking my new yarn and pulling it through both loops. And now we have a clean and a nice color change. On the next round we are going to crochet seven single crochets and one increase and repeat that four times which will leave us with 36 single crochets at the end of the round. And now we have made the foot part of our mushroom and now you can cut off the yarn but save in this case uh, yarn so that you have something to sew both parts together. And now we just wave in the rest of the yarn ends just leave this one. Let's cut up the yarn and let's actually stuff the foot while we are at it. Remember to separate your stuffing so that it gets fluffy. Okay, our foot is done, our hat is almost done. Let's embroider some white dots onto the hat part right now because it's a bit easier when it's not attached to the foot part. I like to start from the center and work myself outwards. Okay. 
and I'm always leaving one stitch in between the dots. was my first row with some dots it looks so cute already so on the next uh, row I'm going in between so like here is two dots and I'm going in between those dots if that makes sense <laughs> that is just how I like to just think how I want my dots but you can do however you want and do it just randomly where it feels good maybe there I already feel that my yarn is pretty short so I will definitely need to change that one pretty soon And you can choose how many dots you want on your hat. I mean, it would be cute to just have a tiny few on the top or then just cover it all. I'm going to see when I want to stop. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe somebody will think that this looks more like sprinkles than dots, but then it's sprinkles. <laughs> okay, so to end this up, I'm just tying the yarn ends together inside of the hat like this. just cut them off a little bit shorter you could also just leave them inside they will not bother anyone so like this we have a hat and we have a finished foot and now the last thing we need to do is to sew these two together and this should be pretty simple because the last row of the foot has 36 stitches and the last row of the hat has 36 stitches so yeah if I haven't crocheted anything wrong or counted anything wrong it should be fairly simple we shall see So one stitch from the 
hat and one from the foot and because we ended the hat with a invis invisible stitch or if you did so you will have one stitch too much but we will just skip that one So one stitch from the hat and one from the foot. And before we close the gap, let's stuff the hat part of our mushroom. Depending on how flat or how round you want the head, uh, the hat, sorry, uh, the more you stuff it, the rounder it will get. You can also flatten it with a couple of stitches through the hat if you want to. Um, I will see if I need to do that because I like it kind of flat. I think it looks cute. But yeah, let's stitch this up and Keep our fingers crossed that my yarn will <laughs> be enough. Oh yeah. Now we the just wave in the end. And we are done. This is our tiny little shroom. Isn't it cute? I hope you enjoyed making this amigurumi together with me. I think it's such a fun make and a cute fall amigurumi to have. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed making this amigurumi, you might also enjoy my other designs. You'll find the link to my pattern library with over 60 patterns linked down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.